What is going on guys Z here and in this video today we're going to look at Google Translate. Now what is Google Translate? Google Translate is a translator. It's a page translator or it's a word translator. Now this is a really handy tool that I do use uh, if you ever browse different websites like Chinese websites or French websites or you do business and you need a good translator. Say you're having a conversation with somebody, they're speaking in a different language or they actually speaking different words now this is a really cool extension for google chrome now you will need google chrome for this if you don't already have google chrome go ahead and download it and install it so this tool is called google translate so if you open up your browser type in google translate just press enter and obviously you do have the web google translate now we're looking for the extension Google Translate. So after that, type in extension so that it takes us to it. So as you can see, I have that highlighted in uh, purple because I've already clicked on it. So you want to go ahead and click on the top link. It should be a Google link. Let's go back just to make sure. So that's a chrome.google.com. And as you can see, this is quite popular in the Google Chrome store. This is a, it, has a, um, it has 21,502 votes. And if you go ahead and click on it, you will see the actual amount of users that downloaded it. So you, as you can see here, it is quite a popular tool. So now all you need to do when you come up to this page is you just click on Add to Chrome. So you do Add Extension. And it should install it right away. So now that you have it installed, you're going to see it's a... Uh, it's a blue icon with a uh, blue icon, excuse me, with a G in middle of it. Almost looks like a, some sort of a bookmark or something. So if you click on that, you can type in literally any word in any language, and it'll translate it. Now, if you did want to translate a page, which I find extremely handy, like uh, for instance, let's go to a Chinese website. So if we click on, if we type in Chinese website, we'll go to the Chinese top 100 websites. And let's go to the Sina.com. I believe that is a news website. And if we'll just click on Beijing just to ensure that we do get a Chinese website. So as you can see, all these uh, strange letters that you have no idea how to read if you don't speak that language, obviously. So what you would do now is you would click on the G button at the top right corner. And you, all you really need to do is click translate this page. And in a second, it'll translate everything. As you can see, it translated everything into comprehensible English, somewhat comprehensible English. Now, another awesome feature with the Google Translate uh, extension is you could literally change it to any language that you wanted to use. So if you click on the Google Translator icon, click on extension options, and you could actually select any of the languages that it has here. Now, I'll just go up slowly so you can see maybe if it does or it doesn't support the language that you need. I'm just going to go quickly, a little bit quicker. So as you can see, it does have quite a bit of uh, languages here. And then you have uh, the other options to play around with. It is a very basic tool, basic and powerful tool. All right, so once you select everything that you did need, you, just, you would click on save, and you would just click on the X part here. Well, now let's go to a different type of website. Let's go to like a French website with French letters, French words and stuff. So as you can see, we're, we are now in a French website, and all, all I'm gonna do now is click on the top right corner of the Google little Google icon that we just installed and I'm gonna click on translate this page and as you can see it translated everything on this page and you could actually read it now now you will have to continue to do this like say you click on a link and it takes you here now you would need to do this again to translate this page and this could be a really handy tool if you did want to learn French, I suppose, you know, or say you didn't want to translate this page anymore. See, that might, I don't think that will undo it. You might need to refresh. If you do refresh it, that might, yeah, there we go. So that, that changes it back to French. Now, if you weren't sure about a word, I guess, I'm 
sure that just means a fair, but I'll just give you an example. Okay, so all we need to do is highlight the word, and it would actually give you a a uh, and and if you did click on the Google link, it would give you the the word right away, right? A case. So I guess I was wrong. A case matter business affair. Okay, so maybe I was right. Um, now, if you did want to hear how the word is pronounced, which is another cool feature this tool has, is you would click, affair. So you would click on that, on that earphone icon. Affair. I'm oh, sorry, on the uh, volume icon. Affair. Case. And then it would tell you. It would actually read it out to you what that word means. So let's try another word here. Just to give you an example. And then we would click on that icon right there. And uh, no. Let's see how it's pronounced. Annuli. Annuli. Okay. Cancelled. Cancelled. So this is a really awesome tool to actually use if you wanted to learn any language because it would read it out to you. Now let's try, what about a German website? Go to a German website. So as you can see, I'm now on a German website. Now we're going to try the same thing with this one. We're going to click on that icon there in the top and we're going to either translate this page and if you didn't want the whole page translated because you were let's say learning a different language, let's click on refresh and let's highlight a word. For instance, we will highlight, I believe that's Lauf? I don't know, let's find out. Laut. Laut, I was right. According to. There you go. So again, that is a really awesome tool to have. It is definitely a must-have if you are doing a lot of online searching, shopping, stuff like that. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you found this video helpful, this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And until next time, guys, take care. And I'll catch you on the flip side.